I love Disney. I think we all love Disney. Disney has created worlds and stories, characters and music that we have never seen before. No one does it better than Disney. However, what if I were to say that even though Disney has taken over all of our childhoods, Disney has never had an original idea. How can you use Disney's model to be a better writer? If this is your first time here, welcome to Food for Plot, where we eat, sleep, and breathe story, no matter what media it's in. Where we make videos about how story works in all media and how to make your stories better. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. When I was first starting out, I really wanted to write amazing stories that no one had ever seen before. And I guess I still kind of do want to do that. However, now it's changed. When you look at story, most stories have been told before. Having an original idea is not that important. When Disney has had all of this success, how have they done it? Because it has not been with having original ideas, because they haven't done that. All of their stories are based on other things. But even though we know Pinocchio, which was created in 1883, or of course Robin Hood, which was created also in 1883, Peter Pan, which was created around that time. It's really interesting when you look at the fact that there is no novel of Peter Pan. Peter Pan is actually based off of uh, something called The Little White Bird by J.M. Barry. There's a few chapters of that one novel, which is an adult novel. That's when Peter came in. And then eventually someone made a play about that novel, and that is what inspired Disney to make the film. There are so many different places that Disney took their inspiration from that it's ridiculous to say that Disney is original, because they're not. But why is that not a problem? Even something like Oliver and Company, a movie which honestly even Disney fans don't really think about, is actually based on Oliver Twist. It's about dogs now. But it's based on Oliver Twist, the reimagining of that story. Even something like Frozen is actually based on Hans Christian Andersen's book The Snow Queen, which was also published in 1845. Are you noticing a pattern with the dates here? There's a reason that everything is in the 1800s. It's not just because Disney seems to be interested in the 1800s, it's because of legality. There's something in creative fields called the public domain. Public domain is when stories get older, they go into this. And that means that anyone can use those stories and make anything they would like to out of them. Disney was smart enough to do exactly this. There are only 58 movies in Disney Animation's filmography. And out of those 58 movies, only about 10 of them are actually original. Things like Lilo and Stitch, Moana, Home on the Range, The Three Caballeros, Bolt, and Brother Bear are originals, no questions about it. But as you may have noticed, most of those weren't hits. This isn't to say that Disney is bad for not having their own original movies. If anything, I'm saying they're smart. Being original is overrated. There is no such thing as an original idea, truly original idea, and writers need to know that that's okay. Superhero movies are based on comics, which are based on older comics, which are based on novels, which are based on plays, which are based on ancient Greek theater, which is based on the basic story of good and evil. In Joseph Campbell's book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, he theorizes about the ancient power of myth and storytelling. From ancient times to now, and spanning every human culture in existence across the world, all cultures and all individuals make sense of the world they live in by telling stories. And those stories are usually about heroes. So if all humans are telling the same story over and over again, why do we feel the need to keep watching? Why do we enjoy these stories? We all know the good guy is going to win. We all know the bad guy is going to lose. What is it about Disney or any of these studios that can pump out these particular stories all the time and we will keep watching them and stuffing popcorn in our face. The answer to that's pretty simple. It is what Disney's animation studio does better than any other studio on earth. Execution. Execution is the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter that Little Mermaid is based on Han Christian Andersen's book. 
that has been told for centuries. It matters that Disney took that story and placed it into what a teenage girl's brain is like in the 1980s when they disobey their father and want to live outside his protection and explore the world. It doesn't matter that Lion King is based on Shakespeare's Hamlet. It matters that we are dealing with how the son deals with the loss of his father. When you create a story, why not look in the public domain? Why not look in works of the past? Look to ancient myths and novels and even films. Is there an update you could do? Could you change the perspective of the story and thus change that entire story? What would Wizard of Oz look like from the perspective of one of the flying monkeys? What would a real estate agent do in the middle of the Three Little Pigs or Fairy Tale Land where the wolf keeps blowing down their properties? Disney is our childhood. We love these characters and these worlds and these songs that are a part of us now. So yes, Disney steals everything, but it takes those stolen parts and creates origami out of it. It twists and folds them so even if you can clearly recognize with your brain that it's of course just paper, you will still feel and believe it's a beautiful flower in your heart. And that's why Disney will forever be the king of stealing, but also the king of creating beautiful works of art that millions of children around the world hold dear. But that's just food for plot. If you learned something in this video, click the like button and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss another video. Every like goes to feeding the penguin. So until next time, Keep writing.